What's going on guys? Taylor with Diamond State Off-Road. Really want to give a big shout out to Bodega Coolers for sending us this 36 liter cooler or fridge. It is a dual zone. Big thing. They did send it to us. So they said sit, check it out, do a review. We'd love to hear what you have. I think all your viewers might like it. 36 liter dual zone fridge weighs about 30 pounds. Um, Plastic handles, um, not really a fan of the handles, honestly. Does have this um, weird little contraption here so you can roll it around, the wheels right here. Um, other than that, the, the handles so far have been really my only complaint with this bridge. Um, one entry does have a light in here. We'll get this powered up. They claim 15 minutes from ambient temperature around 75 degrees down to 32 degrees. So we'll get it fired up right here, figure out how many watts it pulls and give you a general idea of how big of a power station that you need if you were to keep it in your rig. So it's powered on. We're gonna set it to 32 degrees. It's already kicked on. We're going to set both zones to 32. So both zones are set to 32 degrees. It's set on max. It has a max and an eco mode. I usually use the eco mode on my other fridge uh, at night and max while we're running around during the day. So it's kicked on right now. I don't think that the compressor has actually fully kicked on. It says it's pulling 28 watts right now. So open it up. Got a light, dual zone. What I do really like about it, it has a sensor. When you pull the divider out, um, it turns off the fridge and it's all on one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Put it back in, it picks it up, switches it back to dual zone. So. It says it's 68 degrees, um, we'll give that a close. It does have like a neoprene kind of foam seal, not a rubber seal. Um, so far, I haven't really been able to tell. USB outlet to charge your phone or whatever. The wheels are kind of a plastic rubber, got more of a rubber texture to them. I guess it is a rubber pressed onto a plastic wheel so you can roll it around. Um, still putting out 27 watts right now. I'll read through the manual. Um, feel free to skip through this if you don't want to hear any of the specs. So, features high, efficiency, high efficiency DC compressor and conversion module with high quality, long working life, and fast cooling performance. Uh, I'm going to skip a few things. Fast cooling to negative 20, which is ambient temperature at 25 degrees Celsius, 77 Fahrenheit. Um, it does have a battery protection deal on it, so um, you've got a high, medium, and low. I'm not exactly sure what those are. Um, let's see here. It just says intelligent car battery protection. So um, it's got like 13, 12, and I think 10 and a half, if I remember right. Let's, yeah, so it doesn't specify high, medium, and low on the battery protection that would be something nice to to have i'm not real sure it just says high medium and low on the unit itself and in the manual so we're still at 28 watts and the compressor is cooling down we're down to 64 degrees currently it started at around 68 i believe so it does have an app the app is pretty cool i haven't downloaded it i've had it on some other fridges that i've used so that's neat. It's always cool to be able to have it in the back of your rig, checking everything out and, you know, just seeing, hey, is this thing cool or not? And not having to get out and check it. Huge shout out to Bodega for sending us this fridge. Really appreciate it. Thanks for reaching out to us and all the Cool stuff like that it's really neat to for a company to reach out to somebody small like us and just give us a chance to test out a product review it and let you guys know what all is going on with it um, 
it's fairly quiet. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it. You're about five foot away from me, if that. So it's not very noisy at all. Another cool feature that I liked, I opened it. I know it's not gonna cool down as quick. Grates, cages, whatever you wanna call them, both sides. Each side has a drain plug in the bottom. That is really cool, really like that. Drain plug where you can wash it out, not have to dump it over, turn it upside down, and just wash it out and be done. Um, in my testing, I've turned it off and on twice so far. Um, it's taken about 18 minutes from ambient temperature in the house down to about 32 degrees. So, you know, I, I understand it takes a minute to get everything going, but they claim 15, 18, it's close enough for me. Biggest complaint, handles. Really not a fan of these handles. And I see that twist. I'll do it on the GoPro real quick. Oh. Twist them. And, and you can feel that kind of twist um, whenever you're carrying it. it. They just kind of flex around and I don't, I don't really know how, how long that's gonna last. So, but for the majority it all sits in the uh, back anyway. So we're still at 29 watts. Also does come with your DC outlet and AC. So I've got it currently plugged into the cigarette lighter. Um, it usually is more effective that way than your DC. So we're going to turn this down a little bit, get this thing going. Got that turned down to 26. We're going to turn this one down to 25. And I'll get back with you in a minute. So it just kicked back on. It did get both down to this one. The, the fridge side is at 30 degrees. The freezer side is at 23. Took about 19 minutes to get down there. I know that's below what they said it is on right now and cooling we're pulling 37 watts so it does not pull a whole lot and and that's even on max that's not on eco so eco it does a little bit better and a amazon link in the description to this actual fridge and i will add a link to bodega's website so again huge shout out two bodega fridges, coolers, for sending us this to do a review on. Thanks a lot. We'll catch you on the next one.